Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to take a closer look at the AluFrame Assistant for SOLIDWORKS. The AluFrame Assistant is a usual SOLIDWORKS add-in for the design work with extruded aluminium profiles and the typical connections. Here in our example we have a usual SOLIDWORKS sketch which is stored in a part. The part itself is in our top level assembly. To get started with our demo design for this video, we begin with some profiles. In the comfortable dialog, we can select the profile manufacturer, the type and the different sizes. And after selecting the system line of our sketch, we get a preview of the beam and if everything is okay, like here, we can just accept the property manager page and now both beams will be created as individual parts of the assembly. Alright, the next beam needs to be rotated by 90 degrees first. And in addition to all the geometric offsets, the AluFrame Assistant offers the possibility to place the system lines right into the slots or the channels of the profile. So even asymmetric profiles can be placed comfortable and in addition they can be connected to each other because the slots or the channels are right in place. In our example we just use the geometric offset, it's okay for here. Selecting the second system line and accept the dialog. Okay, in the next step we want to cut the beams. To do that we open the property manager page and just select the beams we want to cut and the beams to cut against. And after clicking apply both beams will be cut off automatically. In the next step we want to create some of these typical connections for these extruded aluminium profiles between the beams. Because there are so many different manufacturers and so many different connection types, there are no connections in the library by default. But this is not a disadvantage of the software. The AluFrame Assistant has an intelligent self-learning database. So you can easily create your own individual database inside of the SOLIDWORKS user interface. In this example I import a usual SOLIDWORKS assembly of the connection by using the native SOLIDWORKS functionalities. The connection can be downloaded at the manufacturer's website or you can also use your own designs if needed. To place the connection I use the yeah, well-known SOLIDWORKS mates and here we go. The connection is in place. Now we switch back to the AluFrame Assistant and open the self-learning database. So to say, we teach how to use the connection. First we select the two beams and then we can cycle the axis until we have the right ones in place. Right here. Then we select the individual parts of the connections. In addition to this, we can also select extruded cut features if, for example, mechanical processing like warholes or something like this is needed for the connection. But for this one, we don't need them. In the last step, we just select the name for the connection that we can find it in the database and everything will be stored automatically. That's it. It's super easy. Now, after teaching how to use the connection, we want to place the new connection in the database. To do that, we just open the dialog and just select two beams. Here we can see our new connection and a rough preview in the 3D model. 
In our example we need to cycle the position and everything is in place. Now just clicking apply and the connection will be placed automatically. Alright, here we do that three more times at the other beams of our frame. Stepping back to the first connection place and here we want to place another connection. In this time with a borehole to place the connection. The process is the same and we just select another connection from the database. Here it is. And yeah, just let me open the individual profile part to show you the result of the extruded cut. Here we can see the cut feature and you can also see that there are no external references needed. But of course the model is still 100% parametric. I will show you later how that works. Again, we do that three times more. Alright, now we have our connections done, but um, yeah, maybe we need end caps, wheels or something like this. The process is yeah, quite similar. We, we just select one beam and the connection type and if the connection should be placed at the front or at the back end of the beam. Alright, now we finished our small frame and you can see it's super easy and super fast to create these frameworks with extruded aluminium profiles and all the typical connections. As mentioned before, the AluFrame Assistant for SolidWorks is not using mates or external references between the parts. To change the design, we edit the SOLIDWORKS sketch. For example, I make this one a little smaller and okay. And yeah, the other one also a little smaller, then we can see a better, better difference. But now, after editing the sketch, we can see that nothing happens but that's the expected result without mates or external references. To get the parametric change done, we just need to click the AluFrame Assistant Update button here in the top and everything will be recalculated automatically. All right, here we have the result. Everything is recalculated automatically and we created a small yeah, framework of extruded aluminium profiles within just a few minutes and of course we have support for bills of material we can work with pdm systems and everything please contact us if you have more questions about the other frame assistant and thanks for watching the video